when you look at the SMBs, the mom and pop shops that have been doing CNC machining or welding or any other type of metal work for the last 25 years, we have incredibly sophisticated technicians in this country. Uh, we have second, third, fourth generation welders and people who've worked on furnaces. And we have really dense pockets in our country. Uh, when you think about states like North Carolina or Oklahoma, uh, Indiana, Pennsylvania. And so I think what we're seeing is now you have Silicon Valley thinking about it. You have DC thinking about it. You have more capital flowing to these areas. And what's important is people in high school or people in college or you know in their early 20s, they're saying, I can go and build. I can go and use my hands again. Can we go back to 1950? No, we have to be able to understand automation and how AI is going to actually influence next generation factories. But I think that through things like reindustrialization, that conference, and just all of the signaling that DC cares about this, that Silicon Valley cares about this, we're making it sexy again to some 14-year-old, some 18-year-old who says, I want to go and build and serve this country with my hands.